and welcome back to a weekend vlog. It's so nice to see you again. I missed you so. I didn't have a chance to do any kind of vlogging this week at all. It has been a challenge. It's been a challenge. <laughs> Don't feel bad for me. I actually even said something on Instagram just like, hey, just a gentle reminder to be good to yourself and other people and everything. And then like I had like three of my friends go, are you okay? So I took it down because I didn't want everyone to like worry about me. My eyes twitching. <laughs> I didn't want everybody to worry about me. It's like uh, when, you know, things are happening and you just don't want the attention on you. And then the first thing I do is post something where it put the attention on me. And I was like, why did you do that? <laughs> you, you're not wanting to talk about anything. So basically, sorry if I worried anybody. First of all, I love all of you so much. And I appreciate people giving a shit about me at all. So it's really nice to know that people care. <laughs> but um it's been a it's been a challenging week it has nothing to do with me and my husband and my dogs and my house so just know that but there is other things going on and it's um just been a little bit of um an anxiety anxietous time but uh the things that I can talk about are my own like personal little uh kind of funny but traumatic moments <laughs> and Basically, I, I don't know why I want to tell you guys this, but I just think it would be kind of funny. Also, just in case any, anybody else is like an anxious person, because I've, I've always kind of grazed over the fact that I have anxiety, but I've never truly shared just how much I have it. And a lot of my like drinking was because of anxiety. Now my ear's ringing. A lot of when I used to drink was to help cope. And so now that I don't do that anymore, I'm having to find coping tools on my own. I did sign back up to find a counselor. I'm just trying to find like a good one so I can talk to somebody like once a month just about everything that's going on with my life and just anxiety and like it's starting to cause phobias and anyway, long short of it, um, I went to the doctor. I made my doctor's appointment like super early in the morning because I don't like to have appointments late in the day and then I feel like I can't get any start like projects started because I have to anticipate this appointment. And so it's better if I just get it out of the way, but then I make them super early. So I had to set my alarm and didn't have time to eat. I had to feed the dogs. I had a bunch of guest dogs here. So I had to get everybody situated make sure everybody went to the bathroom and ate their food and were put where they're supposed to go so that I can leave for an hour. Uh, my doctor was taking my my blood to check up because we had done an, an original checkup and my like stats came back and she wanted to have me take make some life changes and also just see the progression of me quitting drinking and then did my blood work again to compare the good news is I'll just tell you right now spoiler is that I was able to reverse a lot of things that my doctor was saying were just mild concerns for like me down the road i.e cholesterol i.e blood pressure i.e um like diabetes because diabetes runs in my family so I was able to lose weight and reverse a lot of this uh, purely by dietary changes, trying to get out and walk more, even though we found out what's going on with my foot. I have disgusting corns on my feet. <laughs> so gross. We'll get to that. We actually, we don't even need to talk about that. Just know it and it's 
so gross and I hate it, but these help. <laughs> these Dr. Scholl's things. I have one on the center of the middle of my foot on both sides. One of them's fine and not too bad, but the other one's so bad I can't even barely walk. Long story longer, I was getting blood work done to check my levels and I fainted in the chair, like fainted. <laughs> I'm laughing now because it's ridiculous, but I've, I've fainted before and I haven't in a really long time though, but now I'm like nervous about, and now it's giving me a phobia. <laughs> I'm a mess up here. But um, yeah, I, I just was sitting there. They couldn't find the vein, so they poked me twice. The second time, as soon as I felt like the blood, I felt like they hit the vein. You can tell when that happens, which is so just weird in outer body experience anyway to feel that. And I was looking over here so I couldn't see it out of the corner of my eye or anything. And they were chatting and she's like, you doing okay? And I was like, mm, I'm feeling a little queasy. And they put the fan on me. And then like seconds later I went, here I go. <laughs> like I was like packing my bags to go on a journey. And I just blanked out. I don't remember anything. I woke up and I was drenching in sweat. I felt like so tired. I was so tired. I guess my blood sugar or my, my was it blood sugar? My blood pressure had like dropped in an instant and I just slumped down like that. My hands just fell dead in my lap and I was just out. Um, so when I woke up, I had ice packs under my armpits and in my back and my neck and like I was covered in ice packs and they were like, she's really hot, she's really hot and they're fanning me. And I was just like, I was completely clueless what happened. It was just so bizarre. It really was like, like you feel like you went somewhere. You're like, where did I go? I don't know where I went, but it was an alternate universe. And I was like, bye-bye. <laughs> and of course, when I came to, I apologized. I felt like I was being a pain in their ass. And they're like, it happens all the time. It actually has a name, but it is called Vasovagal Sync Scope. A sudden drop in heart rate and blood pressure leading to fainting, often in a reaction to a stressful trigger. And you guys, I've talked to you before about having to go to the doctor in the past for a surgery for uterine fibroids, and we were just chatting, and we it was, like I said, really early. I hadn't eaten anything, and I'm under a lot of stress from some other things going on, and I... Um, as soon as we started talking about the possibility of a hysterectomy, I started to feel the anxiousness. And then with the blood work and everything and not eating, I just, it all piled up and I just out like a light, <laughs> out like a light. But I don't want anybody to feel bad for me because honestly, that's the last thing that I need is to feel any sort of like, woe is me because there's just so much other shit going on in the world. And yes, I know that we're all allowed to have our own strifes and our own problems and we can recognize them and say them out loud and it does help it helps to say them out loud but I also just want anyone to know that I, you're not alone if you're anxious if you have depression if you have any sort of like mental struggling crap it's so easy to look like things are so good you know like the house, the dogs, the husband, the happy-go-lucky all the time, whatever. Um, but we all have something that we're struggling with. You never know what's going on in someone's family. You don't know what's going on with their health. There's just so much. So just, I guess the thing is, it's just like support each other, you know, just be there for each other, support each other, give love, receive love, and just like try to stay positive, you know, because it's so heavy out there. We don't need negativity and judgment on top of that. Um, so that's all. And I said that on Instagram and then I took it down because I think my friends thought I was like trying to say like, I've had a rough time and I need support and I didn't want anybody to think that I was needing that. I, if anything, I was trying to offer it up and say like, hey, you know, everyone struggles. You're not alone. But that was just like how it came across, I guess, is that like something was wrong. But anyway, that was my as quick as I can make it intro. I'm so sorry. I really wish that I could make these not so wordy, but I don't want to cut out any of the goods, any of the juice, any of the, the good parts. So I have to, um, you know, say it however it comes out naturally without feeling that I'm um, being inauthentic because like stuff's going on, you know, like I can't fake that. But uh, yeah, I just 
I, today's a good day. I started off grounding myself in the yard and I feel like I'm kind of coming out of a bit of a slump from earlier this week. Grounding yourself is huge. Like taking off your shoes and just putting your feet in the grass or the sand or the dirt really helps me. And I just sat and kind of like started off my day with some coffee and just a little bit of like positive affirmations. Everything's unplugged. Curler is off. I'm so scatterbrained lately. I have to do this. I have to like say out loud. Candles blown out. Oven's off. Like I have to say it out loud. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here is the outfit of the day. Just have on a paper bag waist skirt and some sneakers and my bodysuit from Honey Love that I love so dear. I did a blog post about it. It's a Gucci pinky ring and they have a few left. So I'll leave the blog post about it below and also just the link to, to this, but it's thrifted from the real real, but they're brand new. They come in like a Gucci like sealed box. And uh, yeah, there's probably like 10 left, but you have to have small sizing fingers to fit it. But isn't this super cool? And I actually did change my lipstick because with my eyes a little smokier, I just don't like how heavy red can look with a dark eye. It looks like I'm going out. You calm it down a little bit. So I love the look with the eye. I think it's fun. And I'm still wearing the Lilac Street lashes, the same ones from last week, so they've lasted this long. Um, so yeah, just have this on with a little lipstick. I just put on the Milk Skills lipstick with this Dominique Cosmetics lip liner. Yeah, and I'm gonna grab my stuff and hit the road. Let's go get some hangers and then head to the store. I am here at good old TJ Maxx. We're going to see if we can find any sort of, why does it look so dark? Hang on. Let's see if we can find any sort of hangers and maybe a candle. I hadn't really accounted for spending my day going on a hanger search because they don't have any at the Target or the TJ Maxx and they didn't have any at the Home Goods, the kind that I need. That's so weird. <laughs> There's no pants hangers apparently in Tacoma. I guess I'll try Walmart. I hate going to Walmart. It's just so stressful. Okay, I guess I'm going in. I hate this place. Okay, I got hangers. <laughs> All they had was these plastic ones, but I don't think I'm gonna find velvety kind of hangers. Like I'm trying to keep themed in the store. So that's just gonna have to do. And then I saw this and I realized I haven't even thought about lunch today yet and I've been really bad about eating lately. I don't know what's going on. I just don't have an appetite. So I have an appetite, but I'm like too busy to eat and that's not good. So I got myself a little chicken wrap and some chips. And then I got this for some energy, some daily greens, veggie juice. Actually, I'm gonna drink that right now. But yeah, all right. We're making moves. I'm realizing that this is truly my happy place, my happy escape, because being here instantly makes me feel so much better. Uh, so yeah, just gotta make sure I make time to get in here as much as possible because it's healing to my soul. Sorry if the fan hopefully isn't blowing this microphone. I'm gonna put something really summery on this. I think I wanna go with this dress. The cutest dress.
reorganized it again. Dresses over here. Now that I have pants, I wanted to separate them. So we have pants, skirts, shirts, blouses, and then dresses. And then they're categorized from like extra small to extra large. Cool. Yeah, I think that makes sense. was quite productive it felt really good and I'm red hi Sun comes into the house so intensely through those windows that I've had to get like really intense blackout thick curtains and they work wonders I got those last year when we were having that over a hundred degree heat wave morning and I was like I need to do things so I got air conditioning and I got those curtains if you guys remember if you were around for that did I vlog that week? I don't even know, it was miserable. But I can't believe how much these little ACs help. Like they really, really help. Just this one in the kitchen on low is enough to keep the uh, kitchen and the half of the living room and then the one in the bedroom makes up for that other half. So it keeps the whole downstairs completely cool. It's, a, it's amazing. I don't know what we would do without these. If you're struggling in the Pacific Northwest and don't have air conditioning, because most places around here don't, it's usually pretty mild weather, um, these little window units, they work wonders. But yeah, I uh, did a little cleaning at the store. Little, meaning a lot. I deep cleaned. I did a little mopping. I've been trying to figure out how to get like a mop to work in there because the floors are so jagged. Anything that goes over them, it just snags. So I found like a direction to go where I can get the mop to work and I went through three of those mop uh, pads. And then I had a sale right towards the end, right before I left. But yeah, it was a good day. I got all the jeans photographed so I can upload them to inventory right now. So tonight that's what I'm going to do is add them to the store. So if you want to go shop and have anything shipped to you, you could just go to paperdolls.shop. I'm going to plug my own web store. <laughs> in every video now don't forget to shop at and just like that i am in my evening wear <laughs> we're walking over to one of the local pubs and they have a really great non-alcoholic beer selection i know that probably sounds really boring to some of you but <laughs> we're actually going to go meet two friends of ours and one of well they're a couple and she is pregnant so she can't drink anyway which is nice to have people to hang out with that can't drink <laughs> so that'll be cool uh we'll be able to just have some non-alcoholic uh ipas i'm probably gonna have a busty lush it's my fave but here's my walking attire michael kors ooh, looking fly his new shirt this is uh rag and bone uh, all, all Saints. Oh, All Saints. I always get All Saints and Rag and Bone mixed up. I used to hate this company. But now I'm really? Like, Why? Not hate it, I just, it was, it used to be really expensive. Yeah. Or are you like pre-gaming with an O'Doul's over there? <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna wear this. Screw it. Wow, they really sealed this thing. Cheesecake of dreams, cheesecake of dreams. I got a salad, I kind of built my own salad. I can't get anything open with my hand. That looks delish. Good morning. Welcome back. Hang on, I thought I had you situated and it looks like you might be a little close. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to Saturday. I'm actually really excited and I'm so glad I was on Instagram today because I didn't realize that today was the Tacoma Pride Festival, which just totally lifted my mood. Like I woke up a little, huh, you know, I'm still feeling just the stress of a few things going on and I just felt like, you know, I need something to make my lift my spirits and I can't think of anything that would lift my spirits more than the Pride Festival of Tacoma. They're doing a parade, there's going to be performers and 
artists and DJs. It's going to be a whole thing. And that's one street over from where my store is located. So possibly would bring in a little business. My intent was to go in today anyway. Uh, but now I'm even more excited about going into work today. Uh, just so you know, I was going to kind of show you guys some things as I'm getting ready and talking to you. So hopefully you don't mind a little makeup get ready with me inserted into here. This is the light to neutral 30. I have 40, which is medium to tan. And I really like this, but it only works on my tannest of tan days. And most of the time I'm one level down from that. So I bought another one. <laughs> so now I have options, but how great, because it's like eight bucks. You can get it off Amazon and it delivers to your house within like a day or two. So it's great for like last minute purchases. And it gives you just that perfect amount of lightweight BB cream style coverage. It's called the Anti-Aging Perfector. It has SPF 20 in it. Is that right? Yeah. Usually when I wear a BB cream, I like to have some sort of cream-based concealer. And uh, I have a lot of so many weddings. I can't even tell you how many weddings I've been getting booked, which is great, but it's also like, ah, I need to make sure my kit is full of everything I need. So I got this. It's a concealer palette of every color I could ever need. And I wanted to just do a little trial wear, trial wear of this concealer so that I know what it looks like, uh, or what it will look like for a bride. So we're going to do, you guys are blocking my mirror. Let me just move you. I keep like, <laughs> so I just take a little spatula to keep it sanitary. I went in with the green here and then this like more neutral light. Perfect. So now I can try this out because if I hate it, I want to return it. It wasn't that expensive, but I don't want to have something that I hate, <laughs> you know. And green is just going to neutralize any redness. So this will be really good for just some red spots under my eye, around my nose. I haven't color corrected in so long. I usually just use a really high coverage foundation. I don't really need it. But since we're doing a BB cream, that's just essentially my skin with a little SPF, I can go a little bit more into the coverage of just spot checking around my face, you know? But if you do a high, high coverage foundation, you can skip these steps. Is this going to be too bright? Am I a little bit more tan than this? I do like the formulation of this concealer because it's very creamy and my other ones are more like matte concealers. So with a BB cream, I've been using, usually I'll use these little Marc Jacobs ones because they're just, I hate that they've discontinued them, but they're just so nice. And again, this is just to look like my skin. I'm not trying to do this big like done up face today. I'm just not in the mood. I want my skin to breathe a little bit. And then we're gonna wear like a nice bright color lip. What do you guys think about my little bun? I really am missing my extensions and we have a trip coming again soon. It's a very short one, but we have a trip coming and I just really don't like to have to fuss with my hair too much and the extensions makes it so that I don't have to. Like my hair usually looks pretty good when I wake up with the extensions. My hair does not look good when I wake up with my natural hair like this. I have to do things to it because it just gets so frazzled and like the curls just get wrecked in my sleep. It doesn't look anywhere as good as extension days when I wake up in the morning and they're just like, okay, my hair looks cute enough. Like I wouldn't care if I ran out to the store with my hair like that. I actually just quickly did an eyeshadow and I'm still loving the Sunday Picnic palette that I got at Shein of all places. <laughs> I really like it and it's a great way to um, do like a really quick soft eye with a little shimmer and it's like a go-to mini glam. So I look like put together but it took five seconds. So we're gonna do this Morphe hot shot it's like a really, it's kind of like this. It's like an orange, reddish color. We had a super chill time with our friends yesterday when we went to uh, the little pub. I actually ended up just getting a kombucha instead of like a non-alcoholic. I just want to get some of the redness to go away. I feel like I'm feeling red here and here. Yeah, we had a good time. It was like... 
short and sweet catching up. I haven't seen my friend since she got pregnant and she's like due soon. So I'm like, I have to see you before, like while you're pregnant, at least one time while you're pregnant. <clears throat> so it's very exciting, very exciting. So I'm just gonna go through so much stuff that I have still that I'm not using or wearing and add it to my $5 rack because that rack is just so bare. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second week in a row where somebody bought like a handful of things off that rack and yesterday a lady bought like five things off of it so it's looking like a rotisserie chicken that's been picked clean <laughs> so I need to get some things on that stat um so I gotta grab some hangers so let's go collect some things to take with us to the store for our little sale rack and I'll show you what I'm wearing all right success I found a bag full of stuff now these are things that I intended to upcycle like I was going to either cut it or dye it or do something creative with it and I just do not have the time for it right now especially with wedding season upon us so I'm just gonna have to just put those projects to the side let them be someone else's project it's not all that like one of them's like a really cute shirt but it doesn't have the tie that goes around it like this is such a cute shirt dang it I'm gonna talk myself into keeping it. It's so cute. Crap, I, I wanna keep it. So uh, this stuff though, this, oh, I do like this shirt though. Okay, Sienna. All right, I'm keeping this one so I can put it underneath dresses. It's just so beautiful. And this is one of my favorite colors. Um, so this all is going, I swear, I swear. Right, Florence? Don't let me do it. Don't let me do it. Look at her little dances. She's the cutest thing. If you dance at her, she'll dance back. That's the cutest thing. <laughs> you dancey dance dance. Oh, good girl. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that. <laughs> we make Florence dance. We make a Florence dance. Lyle is working today but he will be home shortly. So they're only gonna be by themselves for like a couple of hours, which Florence is so chill and so cool. Excuse me, can you not play the cheeseburger? Sir, just for a second. <laughs> for crying out loud. Um, so anyway, here's the outfit. I feel like this hair would be cuter if it was in space buns, what do you guys think? I look like I'm about to judge a polka dance contest with this bun, but I just, I'm not doing it again. I'm not. <laughs> it has so much hairspray. I don't wanna mess it up, so bun it is. And again, the harness, it changes the outfit. It makes it less polka teacher, more cool polka teacher. You can just feel the energy and in about three hours everybody's gonna be feeling pretty good <laughs> from visiting the beer gardens <laughs> but I'm heading back that was so fun but it's so hot I am drenched with sweat it's <laughs> but uh, yeah 
So everything is up on the racks. Everything from last week that didn't have hangers is finally hung up. I've got everything organized from shirts to pants. All my jeans are tagged and ready to go. Actually, I need to re-tag the price. Shoot. Um, all my dresses are over here and then we have a fuller sale rack. Actually quite full, which is good. And then I changed her to this beautiful dress. Look at the back, look at the back. It's so cool. And then I hung this here. I thought it'd be kind of cool to feature like something weird. And I just think that's nice and weird, but I don't know if I love it, so it might not stay. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, that came out of nowhere. Um, also, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but the lady who works the um, counter upstairs saw this and thought of me and was like, Sienna, it says paper doll. And so I'm gonna buy it from them. It's like five bucks. But it's just like a little magazine insert that says paper doll. So I wanna get a nice frame to put it somewhere in here. Cause it would be cool. Actually, I need something for right here. Be perfect. Closing everything up. Pride Festival was super fun. I'm so glad I walked over there and got to dance. Actually, like if you saw the camera moving, I was actually dancing, shaking the camera the whole time. Um, anyway, I'm gonna head out actually. I need to get back and I'm hungry and ah! Um, she sure does like to wallow around on the floor. <laughs> Flosive. Florence in the machine. Flosive. One more dance for the road. Flosive, would you have come twerking? You would have come twerking at the Pride Festival with me, wouldn't you? You twerk more than any dog I've ever seen. <laughs> Tina comes in, Marvin comes in instantly. <laughs> Fun smashers. Anyway, I am actually done. That's gonna be it for this weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to be um, trying to make it in the store, but I don't know that I can. I have a couple of doggy meeting appointments where I'm gonna be meeting somebody to see if their dog is a good fit for a very, very long stay here, like half of a month. So I wanna make sure that pup pup gets along with my pup pups. And then Florence goes home. You go home tomorrow. She's like, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys popping in. I always do. That's all. I can't remember anything right now because all I can think about is my, the food. Who's chewing on me? Excuse you. You don't chew on mama's dress. Sorry, I probably screamed that. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.